Hello my friends, I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. Today we'll be taking a look at a Euro-inspired area enclosure worker placement bluffing game, which is heavy on downtime, but still gateway-ish and simple. Hello. Today we'll be talking about area control or area majority. It's kind of the same nature of both of those things. And by majority, you probably have the most fences around it or maybe just the largest area. And you reap the benefits of that area and which it provides. And usually only one person can claim the benefits that is therein. For instance, this one, we have the yellow who's running this tile here and he gets the benefits there. Red has all these tiles, but you see there is a conflict somewhere and he only gets these two tiles even though he's almost around the third tile. And that is just one example. It doesn't have to be areas or landscapes or anything, it could be persons or political advantages, it could be anything. Just have the most workers there or the most tokens there and you will have the control of it. So area control is kind of in the name, control the area, and you do that by majority of force. The best example might be Leuvenhardt or Domain for some other world, where you actually build a fence and expand your areas. Or it could be like Samurai, where it's, you kind of surround the area you want to control, but it's the value of the pieces you're surrounded with that matters, and which token it is. And to keep with uh, Rhino Clintia, we have uh, Tigris and Euphrates, where you have the majority of forces in each of these cities, and you compare those when there's a war going on. So area control is kind of simple to grasp because it's in the name. But what do you want to hear next? We have a lot of things in the board game world and I've just gone over three examples now. It's worker placement and deck building and now area control. What do you want to hear? Please let me know in the comments. Well, I hope that cleared things up for you. Until next time, have fun gaming.